Hey everyone, welcome to another bit of Japanese demo gameplay with yours truly, Kyle from the Vita Lounge. This time we're showing off and explaining some of, to get into, the demo having just released on the Japanese PSN in the last few hours. I've taken a little time to get to know the little girl, and while she's certainly not as pretty as past iterations, she's serviceable to say the least, and the open world concept really suits it. But enough blabbering on. Let's get right down to it and jump in with our first stop being to create a character and show off what's what. Our first screen here is asking whether we want to start a new game or continue a game that has been saved. We're going to start a new game since we want to show off what this has to offer. Alright, so this is the create a character menu. First up is the name. I'm going to change it to something kind of fitting here. <laughs> Let's go with Kira, uh, both because it's a Death Note reference and because it works out as a girl's name. Why is that? Well, because we're going as a girl. That's the gender select screen. Next up is hair. Um, I think my favorite is number nine here. Yes it is, and I like it kind of purple. Boom, there we go. Uh, next up is, this one is face, eyebrows, eyes, nose, and lips, or mouth. Um, I'm just gonna leave those standard, she looks fine. Uh, this one, if you're using a male character, uh, it's facial hair. Since it's a woman, it's makeup um, and accessories. Accessories is this one here, but we're skipping it. Alright, so this one's proportions. So uh, I guess this one is head size. So we're going to make her small. Um, I think this one is overall size. So let's make her tiny there too. Um, what else, what else, uh, this one's weight, so, I don't know, she has to look like she can take care of herself, let's leave her right around there. Um, then we've got leg length, let's make her short, and my favorite slider, this is the boob size slider, so let's make her busty. Um, this one, I don't know what it is, there's a slider and a like option thing here but I messed around with it and I can't figure out what it does too lazy to try and read it or try and translate it so screw that um, and this one is weapon so you can either have uh, the long sword the bow the sword and the shield or uh, it's like a chain sickle thing I don't know it's cool though that's what I'm going with Alright, that one there is options, just gives you kind of game options, so we're going to skip it and continue. Um, the one on the left, that symbol right there, means yes, it's high in Japanese, so if you need to go ahead in a menu and it's asking you what the hell you're doing and you can't read it, generally it's high, so there you go. Let's go. Alright, and we'll use that first slot since I don't really care. Alright, so we're loading into the village here. Um, I'm going to skip the text. I'm going to let her read the first line and then I'll skip it and we'll, we'll talk. So, here we go. And loading. Still loading. Alright, so you've heard her voice. Um, circle is accept and go f go ahead in this game, but X uh, is the skip text um, one that I use anyway. So if you hold X, it'll just skip through it, like so.
Fujim. Alright, so skip the text. Here's the girl when, when she's decked out in, in, in her costume. Um, there's a set of armor here. Uh, if you actually go to this here and go to this first option, it allows you to change your equipment. Um, so if you start with this sickle on a chain thing, I don't even know what to call it. Um, it's kind of like a Kusarigama, but not really. Um, if you don't want that, or if you like decide you don't like it, there's the other four options here, so you can switch up your weapons, or um, I don't think I managed to get anything, but you can switch these other things, and your Matama, which you do uh, have one of. So. I'm just gonna set that right away, because I know it asks you in a second to do that, but anyhow. Alright, so the first thing you have to do before you even start doing missions or anything is talk to all these people here, so just you know, initiate and hold X. <laughs> uh, this girl over here asks you some stuff. I don't think it matters what you answer, really. I just keep answering the first one. And then you have to go in here and visit the little quest lady. Alright, so that's that. Alright, before we move on, I'm just going to jump to the pause menu here quick. So I hit options. This is what comes up. Um, basically what we have here is... Uh, we've got pause is the first option, so if you hit that one, obviously everything stops like that. Um, we've got uh, th this one's mission, so it tells you what your your, your current like things that you have to do are. Obviously, it's going to be in Japanese, so it's not going to help you very much unless you speak it. The next one is stats, uh, so it'll tell you what you know your character's at, and I think what they have equipped as well. Yes, yes, so they are. Um, this one here is, what is this, oh, Mitama, this one's Mitama, uh, so that you can check out what Mitama you have equipped, uh, there, uh, the next one is, like, a chat function, so you can, you know, uh, there's little phrases and other things in these boxes that you can hit, so, yeah, chat, um, <laughs> This one's tutorial, so it'll tell you how to do certain things, but again, it's in Japanese, so you could obviously look at little pictures, some of them have pictures, but otherwise it's mostly useless. And then this one is the system menu, um, and in the system menu it is save at the top. Um, the second one down is, I believe, op options like ga game options, you know, background music kind of stuff. Um, the stuff that's on the main menu as well. Um, and the last thing is quit to main menu, so you obviously choose that and then yes afterwards if you're quitting to main menu. But anywho, let's go check out the world, shall we? Gonna talk to this nice lady right here. And skip all the text and answer whatever the hell to this guy. Yep. Yeah, whatever. There we go. Alright, so this been, begins the open world aspect of the game. We, As you can see, you can jump right off some stuff, which is pretty cool. I'm going for my a little area that I've found earlier. I think it's over here somewhere. I think, I think. Nope, it's not that way. Wouldn't it be lovely if I got lost already? That's just my luck. Alright,
勝手にグダバンド I seem to have forgotten where I went last time, but that's okay. Well, I'm sure we'll find something interesting anyways. These are collectibles. I don't know what they're for, but they're all over the place. Or, well, 15 of them are all over the place anyway. There's a stream around here, I'm really trying to find it. Oh hey look, one of those friggin' deaths in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I think I'm near my stream. I think, I think. Or I'm going around in circles, one of the two. Yep, definitely going around circles. Damn. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Can't go between the tree and the rock. Ah, oh, here we are. Except I don't think this is the area. Oh no, this is the area. Sweet! Wanted to show you guys the boss and I found one earlier, so... Dead spiders. Your soul is mine, Liu Kang. Anything. <laughs> They're all gone. 
Use my god's hand here. Let's open this shit up. And get the collectible. And then, oh hey! so I died, but shit happens. That was a small glimpse into Tugan 2's PlayStation Vita demo, which just released on the Japanese PSN. It's about 1.6 gigabytes in size, and offers a glimpse into what we'll be getting from the full game. It contains four weapons to choose from, some missions to take on, and lots of things to find, but I suggest you try it for yourself, and if you're interested, it works on both Vita and PlayStation TV, the latter being part of my capture method. Anyways, I'm Kyle, this is the Vita Lounge's Lounge Play channel, and I'll see you next time for some more great Vita gameplay, which will probably be very, very soon.